Hello, everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to look at the comparison of two population variances, but this is a paired test. Okay, so let's first uh, ha um, have a look at the exercise. We're going to discuss the concept through this exercise. So an experiment was performed to compare two methods, Karshuhi and Lehigh methods, for predicting the shear strength for steel plate girders. So data for these two methods when applied to nine specific girders are shown in the table uh, above. The engineers wish to determine whether there is any difference between these two methods. So we have the same, uh, you see here, how many girders we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those girders, and we're gonna apply the two methods this method one, method two. So same girder, we're going to use two methods to predict the shear strength. That means it's pair. Okay. And then we got the difference between these two, these two methods. And we want to see that determine whether there is any difference between these two methods. So this is a paired test. If we uh, scroll down to this act box, uh, the neck, uh, opposite uh, to the other side of this page, you will be able to see the. So we have already discussed this one, and uh, we leave this one, and we leave this one because this is long already, so you don't have a lot of calculation to do. But now we're going to look at the paired observation. We want to test whether the difference equals to a particular value or not, or, or not, or greater than, or less than, or greater than, or less than. So here, we are going to compare, uh, we're going to calculate the test statistic. Obviously, what we were given is just the data. So we, we compute the difference and, and the, the sample difference mean, sample mean of the difference when then we minus the D0 and then we can uh, compute the sample standard deviation of the difference. And then divided by the sample size we have, then then we can do the different kind of test, left-sided, right-sided, or two-sided test. And this will be very similar, the same uh, rejection criteria. Now let's do this problem together. We have this column, right, of difference. We're going to, whether there's any difference, that means the, this uh, difference, the, the, the population, the, the mean, mu d, if there's a difference, there's a, if there is a difference, then the, this mean, because this, this could be random variation, this mean could be zero, or this mean does not equal to zero. If it does not equal to zero, then there's a difference between these two methods. So now the mu d is the difference between two, uh, population between these two methods. Step one, formulate hypothesis H naught mu d equals to zero. H one mu d does not equals to zero. Step two, compute the test statistic. Then this T, let's see what kind of notation did we use? T equals to D bar minus D zero divided by SD over square root of N so this will equals to d bar minus zero, right? We're going to compare against the zero. So S D over square root of n. So what is our d bar? D bar, if we calculate d bar, d bar will equals to 0.2739. What is S D? S D will equals to 0.1351. And how many differences we have? 
the n equals to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means we have nine some differences. You see here, this is very critical. And it does not equal to 20, uh, 18 because this is nine, this is nine, this is also nine, right? But we are only testing the differences. So we only have nine differences. This n is not 18, it's nine. So this will equals to 0.2739 divided by 0.1351 over square root of nine. This will equals to 6.08. Okay, step three. We are going to reject H naught if if our test statistic is greater than uh, T alpha over two. Alpha is uh, five percent. Let's use five percent. And this is point zero to five, and uh, m minus one is eight. And this one, if you check the table, uh, use the computer two point three oh six, or t less than minus t point zero two five eight. This equals to minus two point three oh six. Now step four, our 6.48, 6, uh, 6.08 is actually greater than 2.306. So this is satisfied. So we reject H naught. So we conclude that the strength prediction methods yields a different results. Specifically, the data indicated that the Kao Shuhei method produces on the average higher strength predictions than does the Lehigh method. And the p-value, the p-value, if we are going to use p-value approaches, this is probability t greater than t probability. Uh, no, this is uh, two times because this is this is two sided. So, or you can say probability t less than minus t plus probability t greater than t. So this will equals to point uh, zero 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 three. Okay, so the very small is less than 0.05. So this will be, this t, this t value is actually 6.08. So the smaller the p value is, you reject H naught. So this is a, a paired comparison test. That means you have uh, two methods applied to the same object. And these two, these two, these two apply to the, this one, these two apply to this one, and then you get the difference, okay? So this is called a pair test. And then you wanna test whether the difference mean equals to zero or doesn't equal to zero. If it doesn't equal to zero, zero, that means there is a big difference. If it doesn't equal to zero, then there's a big difference between these two methods. And as we test it, there's a, we reject this H naught, there's a big difference and, uh, we know d bar on average, the first column, you see the first column minus the second column, you always get a positive. You don't actually get a negative values. So that's why uh, the hypothesis, uh, now hypothesis is rejected. Okay, this is the end of this exercise.